Welcome to the NVIDIA Insight Graphics 2023.1 Release Spotlight. In this release, we've updated our visuals a bit and added a new welcome page. There's now full support for Opacity Micromaps, a powerful new ADA architecture feature. We've also added support for Direct Storage 1.1. Profiling has improved with new Shader Profiler features, and we've removed the Legacy Range Profiler in favor of GPU Trace, which gets a new SCR Analysis feature. The entire Insight suite of tools has now been updated with new branding, which includes new icons and splash screens. This new style bridges ray tracing's past and future and is a tribute to how important the pioneering work of Turner Witted has been to our team. In addition to the style updates, we've added a useful welcome screen that provides an overview of the latest features in Insight graphics. The Vulkan extension VKX Opacity Micromap is now supported for capture and replay as well as for acceleration structure analysis. This extension is possible thanks to the third generation RTX ADA architecture and adds the ability to add an opacity micromap to geometry when building an acceleration structure. We also support visualizing opacity micromaps in the acceleration structure viewer. Traditionally, when rendering alpha tested surfaces like tree foliage, you might use alpha maps to mimic detailed surfaces without requiring complex geometry. By using opacity micromaps, you have finer grain control of your geometry's opacity, allowing you to achieve higher performance by avoiding unnecessary round trips to the streaming multiprocessors from any hit shader invocations. This viewer will make it easier to transition to and debug opacity micromaps in your application. Direct Storage 1.1 is now supported for live analysis and C++ capture. Direct Storage aims to make load times in games a thing of the past. NVIDIA and Microsoft work closely together to develop this technology and by supporting this in our tools, we're hoping to make it easier than ever for you to integrate this important technology into your application. In the Shader Profiler, Vulkan Ray Tracing shaders now display instruction execution stats per source line. This includes active threads per warp, also known as thread coherence, which can be optimized for Shader Execution Reordering, or SER, a groundbreaking new ADA architecture technology that allows you to improve shader performance through an easy-to-use API that we have provided. The Shader Profiler also now reveals function-level performance at the HLSL level via top-down call trees and bottom-up calls per hotspot. This allows you to apply familiar CPU code optimization techniques to your GPU shaders. This is currently only available on D3D12, but will be supported in Vulkan in the future. After a long deprecation window, we have removed the range profiler in order to fully commit our resources to improving GP trace and other advanced profiling features like the shader timing heat map and shader profiler. We have created a migration guide to explain how to use GP trace in a similar fashion along with the great improvements it offers over the range profiler. Be sure to read about it in the upcoming NVIDIA blog post, Migrating from Range Profiler to GP Trace. GPU Trace now has an in-application HUD with on-screen status indicators for trace readiness and whether Windows independent flip has been engaged in the swap chain. GPU Trace now also ensures your application is focused during measurements, helping you achieve accurate measurements while avoiding frame rate throttling by the desktop manager. Finally, GPU Trace has had trace analysis for a number of releases now, and with this release, we've made it even more powerful by providing new shader execution reordering analysis suggestions that inform you when you should consider implementing the SER reorder thread call in your shader code. Be sure to read the SER white paper to learn more about this incredibly useful feature. Thank you for watching and don't forget to send us your bugs, feature requests, and general feedback using the integrated feedback button at the top right of the window. If you like this video and would like to see more like this in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA Developer Channel. Mm -hmm.